All right, folks, we have a great guest. It's an amazing show on FX. It's called The Americans. They just wrapped the finale of Season 2, and we're getting a chance to talk to Costa Ronan. How are you doing, sir? Excellent, excellent. What's up, guys? How are you? Congratulations on just an amazing show, an amazing season. And Oleg is uh, quite the character on this show. And what about the show um, has surprised you the most? I mean, it's such a great production and a great team of writers and all that. What has really been the the greatest thing that you've gotten away from the show? Uh, you know, it's it's a terrific experience working with uh, everyone who is so passionate about telling this story. Uh, it's not often that you get to work uh, with everybody when the whole crew and cast are on the same page and trying to tell the same story, so to speak. So it, it's been quite quite a journey. It's really pretty exciting, too, for you because, I mean, I guess you cannot really confirm. We hear a lot of interviews and things that are going around. We haven't really got confirmation that Oleg will be back for Season 3, right? Well, we don't know yet. We don't yeah. know. It, it, you know, it's uh, it's a very turbulent time in history, so it depends on where the writer decides to take the story. Well, I feel um, I feel so pretty confident. I pre- feel pretty confident we'll see you back as Oleg at some point. If we if we decide not in season three, we'll see him back at some point because it's kind of left in as a really open ended ending, and uh, he's such a really cool character, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, look, absolutely. Thank you, thank you for saying it. I really appreciate that. It's you know it's exciting, and um, he'll definitely be around. He'll definitely be alive and doing his thing, and then uh, working for Mother Russia. It's just uh, yeah, it's just uh, waiting to see what's going to happen. Coming from Russia yourself, and one of the praises I think the show really has done is it really has painted the Russians in a different light and brought to brought to life some different characteristics and things. What do you What do you think of that? Do you Do you think that has really been a very valid uh, part of the storytelling, or has it really just been um, something that's kind of evolved? What What are your thoughts on that? On whether or not the story telling process below close to what was, what was actually going on or yeah, a little or, a little a little bit of that and just your personal experiences of that well i don't really have i was very very young when the action uh took place in the early 80s so um i can't remember all that much but uh joe weisberg he's a former cia officer so if anybody knows what was going on in those days it's definitely him um, I know that the writers and the researchers and the consultants have put a lot, a lot of effort into making sure that the story is as close to truth as possible. I and mean, obviously, there is a, an artistic license, um, but it's definitely very, very real. The effort that the production team has put into the show is that's absolutely mind blowing. Well, and just to confirm on that, because folks, if you haven't watched Americans, you may not know this, but Oliver North actually helped contribute uh, to the Contras storyline and the story arc that happened in the middle of the season, and uh, really, really just starts to open your eyes to a lot more depth, and, and as, as he says, as uh, uh, Costa says, just so much attention to detail to try to bring this time frame to life. Um, that had to be one of the things that attracted you, to, and it has to make you the most proud of being on the show. I'm sorry? That has to be just one of the key things that make you so proud to be part of the show. Well, yeah, absolutely. But at the same time, you know, it's not, it's not a documentary. It's a story. At the end of the day, uh, the Cold War and the fight between the KGB and the FBI is a premise. At the end of the day, it's a story about people. It's a story about relationships. It's a story about human conditioning and human hearts and souls. And, and, and they said that that environment took on those people. This is one, one of the amazing things about this show, and I don't think uh, there is a show like it, is is that it really is about what 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 how does it feel going and doing this kind of work, and then coming to coming home to your children and and still having to operate as a normal uh, member of a society, uh, well, a relatively normal member of the society, and you know uh, having lunch with your children and checking their homework and going on holidays and falling in love and living and dying. So uh, it's it's a really really interesting the psychological effect the um, the toll that it takes on those characters. It is absolutely a great show, folks. And if you're not watching it, I'm sure you can catch some of it on demand. The DVDs will obviously drop relatively quickly because FX has already approved the show, The Americans, for a third season. Now, Costa gets to stay pretty busy because you've already got a role on X Stamp. That's the uh, Halle Berry show on CBS this summer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I had a chance to play a little bit with futuristic gadgets. I can't tell much about that show because obviously it hasn't 
Yeah, the other one. I'm really excited about uh, the show, and, and I'm really excited for the friends of Haley Barry because it's not often that she sticks around in town for long enough to do a television show. So um, I'm really excited. And it was interesting to be able to jump from playing a character from three years ago to playing a character in the future, 10 years into the future. So uh, it's it's exciting. it's exciting, and I also have a film coming out later this year. So yeah, that's called the Midnighters. I want to I want, let's talk about Midnighters then for a minute because that's a that's a really cool indie film that's coming out later this year, right? Yes, sir. Tell everybody about that a little bit. It's uh, written and directed by uh, Julian Ford with a terrific cast uh, with Leon uh, Leon Russell and Gregory Sims, and uh, it's it's really a fruit of love and fruit of passion. Everybody on that project was really, really excited about telling that story. And um, it's probably going to be coming out later this summer towards fall. So look out for that one. And that's called The Midnighters. Um, Extant does start pretty soon. That stars Halle Berry. So, uh, you know, uh, Costa rona has been busy. He's got a lot of stuff going on. And uh, really an exciting time for you. And it's really good to see. I know you've got a lot of different things in your path that you've done and kind of gets you to this point. Is there is there something in particular that somebody said or some words of encouragement that still kind of helped drive you today? Well, you know, it's, it's amazing how uh, the audience responded to the character of Oleg. Like, I mean, I knew the show was, uh, the show the Americans was um, very, very popular after the first season came out. But it was, uh, you know, going into the second season, it was kind of tricky because uh, most of the characters, the storylines and the world have been established in the first season. So going in, it's, uh, it's very, very important for an actor to be able to establish the character and to kind of create a wholesome character that lived for the previous 25, 30 years and then just his life wasn't on TV, so to speak. So uh, seeing how the audience responded to his uh, to him and, and to his journey was really, really humbling and uh, I really appreciate everybody's support and the love. Thank you. Well, and, and just to credit to you, uh, Christopher, I mean, you, you started out just having a, a small role, and obviously the uh, the creative team just loved what you were doing with Oleg because they kept bringing you back for almost every single episode. Yeah, it was quite uh, quite an interesting journey. I, I was going into the two apps, and then I got there, and, and another episode came around, and another one, and then I ended up doing 12 out of 13, so uh, it's... Uh, <laughs> It's been it's been a terrific experience. It's a very exciting time show. It's a it's a great show. It's FX for the Americans, folks. You can catch it on demand. I'm sure if you're not caught up, and obviously the DVDs will drop. And uh, Oleg, Oleg is a really really kind of a cool character, and I, I I feel certain that he will pop up again. Now, I hope it happens to be in season three. Keep close to working. We got to keep my brother paid here and keep him uh, doing his thing. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. Look out for the Midnighters later this year, and of course, Halle Berry's ex Ant opens on CBS uh, later on as well. We'll link to all these different things. And uh, Costa, I know you're just swamped and you're busy. I, I know it's a little bit of a quick interview. We definitely appreciate you fitting us in. Of course. Look, thank you. Appreciate the support, and thanks for the love, guys. Appreciate that. Thank you. All right. Take care. Take care. Bye.